my beautiful words of love and light and welcome to this pick a card reading so uh, this pick a card has been inspired by a quote that I uh, just recently found by Lao Tzu and it goes by new beginnings are often disguised as powerful endings so I said wow new beginnings powerful endings so I, I, I think um, I decided to bring together the ten of each suit with the ace of each suit so we'll look at both like what is it that brought you to this powerful ending and what new beginning awaits you so uh, for those of you who are new to tarot I'm just gonna explain a little bit about um, each of these suits so you have a better understanding of what you're getting into when you're picking the cards even though you can still pick them by checking like looking at them but um, Pentacles are Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's all about stability, about financial abundance, like opportunities. So it could be related to work, career, um, even studies. It's about your values and manifestation. The Ace of Swords energy is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <laughs> okay. And it's the air sign. And it's all about... Uh, your mind it's like a mental energy it's communication it's clarity it's about justice uh, and logic and then the ace of wands is fire and it's leo saggy aries and it's all about your passions in your life your creative expression it's about inspiration it's like your desires in life um, and it's all about new growth and then the cups is all about love and relationships. This is uh, the water sign and it's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And it's all about your feelings and um, like I said, relationships at home, family, love, your intuition and spirituality. So what I did for everyone is that I picked out for each of these uh, piles, I picked out only the pentacles and the major arcana and I shuffled and I got what I got and then we also have oracle cards so I'm going to leave you a few seconds to uh, hone in on what you want but like I said since they're all here the suits you can go ahead and read them all because they're all going to be different and they're going to pertain to each different uh, cycle of your life so I will see you soon Hello, pal number one. For those of you who picked the Ace of Pentacles, we're going to get right into the reading. I'm going to put the Ten of Pentacles here. I'm going to take out cards, and then we're going to do the Ace of Pentacles as well. So the um, Ten of Pentacles is what is um, what brought you to this, what happened in your life that you are here. The Ten of Pentacles is not a really bad thing to happen. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles is about... Uh, money coming in right money coming in from another source it's like something financial gains but coming in from let's say an, an um, inheritance or a lottery win not, not necessarily from like career or work earnings it's like coming from another source but what let's just see what the cards have to say because there's this ending that's here with this new beginning so let's look at the Ten of Pentacles, and we get the Vow, which is interesting. Mercury Retrograde Reinvention. Let's put her under here so you see it. And we get Failure. Okay. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Okay. So, uh, should I take these out? I'll take these out. Okay, the Empress, 
the three of coins the fountain which is part of this deck which is the fountain tarot and the star well these are amazing cards okay <laughs> How do you look at this? This is an, a, an amazing ending. Never mind. Okay, let's just look at what all these cards mean. Sorry, placement. All right, so what we're we seeing here right away when I see the vow, to me, it speaks of promises, contracts, right? It means a proposal, like you came together in a relationship. But since we're talking pentacles, it could also be a relationship. But maybe we're talking about unkept promises, maybe broken contracts within a um, love relationship, within a friend, um, like broken promises within friends, uh, family, within businesses, with jobs. Um, the Mercury retrograde to me feels like um, it's interesting because I know this is a timeless reading, but at this very moment in time, we are in Mercury retrograde. And so this showing up here, and if you are watching this like in a year from now, and it happens to be Mercury in retrograde, this is a sign <laughs> to either um, to definitely back up all your data to all your information, uh, your Facebook, Instagram, everything, like whatever your emails. When you're sending out emails, check them twice or thrice. When you're doing signing contract, the same idea. I just, oh, wow. So this is interesting, right? <laughs> because I'm thinking Ten of Pentacles, what does this mean? This could be with the vow. It could also be there's alimony payments that are needed to be it's obviously not for everybody but there's that there's a situation here with a separation or a divorce and maybe um, you're not getting the right money for it so check that contract again check that these those divorce papers again like make sure that you're getting everything that you you deserve same idea with like a uh, business so check it's really important here because I feel like there's been a um, you signed a contract and it just didn't go well and the fountain is all about clarity so it's like uh, time to look at things very carefully interesting to me the failure is um, I feel like some of you feel like you failed in your business and failed in your relationship. I feel like there's this sense here. I'm feeling it very strongly. But you know, the old saying is that when one door closes, another one opens. And that's the whole idea and premise of this um, reading that I'm doing. Because so what if there's like this really tragic or this really bad ending that makes you feel really low? There's always a new beginning. There's always something. There's spirit or our guides or our creator always sends us down a path and there could be a blockage and a clearing uh, like um an obstacle but why is that is because we need to get to the other path we need to like see see this and understand this lesson before us so failures to me are always opportunities to this so wow <laughs> wow if you're by if by the way if you're here and it's not a mercury retrograde in your uh when you're watching this um check back in a week like uh, make sure that within the week that you're watching this and there's no mercury retrograde to store all your data do all the uh contract signing making sure but it'll be a week time for you so interesting um so we have the three of coins here, which is all about uh, coming together. You were in a like a partnership with two other people, maybe, or you're working with a like on a project with two other people. And again, I feel like there is some sort of a misunderstanding, maybe, 
maybe there was a, like the Mercury in retrograde is like you're retreating, right? So maybe you're needing to go back and re-look at the project, re-look at your business. Why did you come together? Because the vows, the vows are interesting. The vows are, um, they're, you're, it, like you shake your hand and you sign a contract, but the intentions you put into a vow or a promise or a contract is way more important than that those those physical things your intentions are uh, are cast into the like ethers and your spirit team are listening to them and they're the ones who are manifesting things for you to happen or not to happen right to, for you to hit that obstacle in the road but the star and the empress here is just gorgeous because that feels the empress is all about new opportunities like abundance and the stars your wishes and dreams coming true but here it feels to me uh, that you're they're almost asking you to um real I, I like this mercury coming in here because it's almost asking you to really look at um all everything that has to do with money maybe you're you're in a relationship a love relationship and um, money is an issue like there's it's never been um, easy with money it's always been well, how, how, did, how much did you spend where did you put that where why is your credit card so high kind of feeling I feel like that's here right now and it's like time to get clear about that in your relationships time to open that kind of line of communication if you don't want it to like lead to something like a, a rupture I almost feel like it's being asked, like people here also, um, like people who are single, there's, I feel like you're maybe spending too much money. <laughs> you're, you're needing to just take a, like a step back from that, like shed the light on your uh, expenditures, on your uh, shopping behaviors, or just take a look at that and just assess it like the Empress would do. Like a, take step back and sit on your throne a bit and look at what is going on and what it is that you need do you really need that because you know the pentacles is all about uh, materialism as well excess even too much and uh, maybe you've overloaded your credit card and there's this this is why this failure is here like i said when there's a a, a crux in the road or a um, obstacle in the road there's always a way to veer around it. But with the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like there's something new starting regardless. Even though you're being asked to check those, um, the payments, I don't know what payments you could be getting. Maybe you're getting payments from the government. Check those. Uh, maybe you're getting payments from, like maybe there's people that owe money to you. That's interesting and you feel like you yeah i feel that some some of you here is that there's you feel like um betrayed almost in the sense like you've lent money to these people and it's been a long time and you haven't received this money and um i think there's something coming though it feels good to me but do check those contracts do check whatever it is don't uh People who are here today, I'm feeling um, the recommendation is not to lend. If there's someone's asking for you for a lot of money right now, there's no, it's like a no. I'm feeling that very clearly. Like, uh, try to work on yourself and try to work on your um, money, your situation. Uh, and if you have to make a, uh, a like a, if you are doing an investment or you're doing something then make sure that you're signing and you're checking to sh make sure that they pay you back or there's a lot of details that need to be done here mercury in retrograde also feels like maybe there's someone coming in from your past maybe there's someone coming in from your past that bar uh, borrowed money from you and it's like years and years and now it's time they're gonna pay back because the ten of pentacles is like a positive card so there's like a lot of scenarios here. I'm trying to give as, as many as I can. So I don't leave anyone out, but I know that I can't always give everybody, <laughs> I can't get, catch every single viewer here, but there is this feeling of um, 
maybe someone is um, going to get a job proposal or a new job, but make sure again, check, the, check those papers before you sign a contract. That's all I'm saying. So if you're in Mercury retrograde, like right now at this very moment, it will be over by June 22nd or July 7th. So I, I would suggest like waiting until then, or if you are here and it's not, then in a week's time, do all that you need to do. Okay, that was cool. So the Ace of Pentacles, what is the new beginning? We got two for these. The Warrior. I like it. And the King. Whoa, baby. <laughs> okay, that's the like intense. And then we have Pluto, Transformation. This is the Scorpio card. Oh, this was an interesting. Okay, and then we got Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And then we only got one card. I must have shuffled, I must have like shuffled like 20, 30 times. And I was like, I'm only going to stay with this card. And they were like, yep. I was like, wow, man. I was like, this has never happened to me, by the way. So I had to stay with this. I do not negate my guides. So you got the devil, which I was like, seriously, can I like... <laughs> They're like, nope. I'm like, okay. But it's not a bad thing, actually. I kind of like it. All right. So Ace of Pentacles, let's start with this. Financial, spiritual abundance, new opportunities. And then the warrior, which I love. For me, the warrior always feels like the Knight of Swords energy. It's like... Um, he goes into battle with a clear head. He knows what he's getting into. He's very like this beautiful rainbow energy, very clear, very uh, astute. He, um, I love the snake that is there. He's like there to fight, right? For your rights or for his right or for something. And he has a very clear third eye here. So very intuitive. It's like um, choose your battles wisely is what I'm getting out of this, and then I, and then we get the uh, the king energy, which could be the king of pentacles, which is the Taurus, and it could also be um, the emperor. I always feel like it's a, an emperor card to me, which is Aries, and the king is all about you know I, the the kings get a really bad rap in the tarot sometimes because it's always like. They're full ego, but not all of them, obviously, but the wands energy is full ego. And when you think of a king, it's like a ruler, an oppressor. But think about it. Imagine if you were the ruler of your uh, country, your village, whatever, of the people. You would maybe seem a bit like egotistical, right? That's how I always feel about the kings. But for me, they're like divine leadership. They're like noble, they give service to people. So it's very interesting, it shows up here. It's like, and the, with the warrior, they showed up together. So I feel like you're starting something completely fresh, like a warrior, like you're taking over your, your life again. You're like stepping away from any alimonies, all this like people like bringing you down, people not paying up to you. You're gonna say, oh, yo, no. You're going to put your foot down. This is what I'm feeling for a lot of you. And you're going to say, this is what needs to be done. You're going to pay this much to the children because you, they deserve it. You're going to pay this much to me. You're going to pay me back from this long ago debt. You're, are, like, I feel like this, you're going to get, um, what's that word? Like confirmative? I don't know if that's a word. but like, You're going to be more um, authoritative when it comes to your life. And then like the Pluto's transformation is it's like change. It's, it's like a planet about not going backwards, not Mercury. It's like moving forward. It's like, it's now or never, let's do it. Let's be honest with ourselves. And then the devil shows up, the devil. <laughs> and I felt like I was like, okay, so what is this about? Are some of you here um, in a codependent relationship? 
and that's why you're having a hard time dealing with your ex dealing with like someone giving you back money something like this there's this or you're in this relationship and you're not um standing up for what it is that you want in this relationship and you're like i can spend my money however the hell i want to spend it kind of thing this is how i feel the devil is showing up here and it's almost like you are the king and the warrior and it's up to you to choose how you want to live your life. The devil is here to show you that the life is just not always uh, as it seems, and life is not always like uh, fairy tales and uh, rainbows and unicorns, rainbows, but it's not always that. And it's, it's like time to get honest with yourself. It's time to become like, truly understand like, um, do you want to change your life or do you want to stay in a, a relationship that where you're always fighting about money? Do you want to stay like always fighting about the children? Do you want to stay, uh, you always want to be uh, putting like massive credit limits on your, on your credit card because you need to go shopping. Even this feels like the, for those people who are overspending, maybe it's time to pull back and like, Put a little a restraint on it because why people who over shop it's because you're replacing something in your life it's something that's missing in your life and i really feel like this ace of pentacles coming in there's like something new coming towards you so it's time to say goodbye to this control i feel like some of you are feel like you um need to have like your hands in the pots of everyone around you or even yourself and it's like let it go this also for me, because every time I see the devil, I always feel like it's the world card. Everybody knows that if you're watching my uh, videos for now. <laughs> but, but also feel like this could be someone in your life to just to be aware of that could be sucking your energy. That could be um, sucking your power away from you. And you have these showing up and saying, no, no, we're here. You are not going to give your power away to these people. You are going to start this business that you always wanted to start. Because the star, the empress, feels like that to me. You're going to start this here. You're, gonna, you're going to start a, a, your, a new relationship or you are going to um, speak your mind and say to your partner, this is what's happening. This is how I'm spending my money. I... I'm standing by the my truth kind of thing. This is how I feel here, even if you, your ex or whatever. There's this, just this, this, I like it here. This honesty card feels really good right now to me here. There's a huge change coming in your life. And I almost want to bring the star and the empress over here because that's, I feel like that's what it is. But the, we have the king and the warrior. So isn't it interesting? This is a very female energy, very masculine energy, but you know, whatever, doesn't matter. So masculine energy means the sun to me so it's like stand in your own stand in yourself your I am presence like do what you need to do don't try to get try to step away from anyone that's like um, stealing your um, oneness from you uh, trying to control your every move trying to control everything through money through money this could be government <laughs> This could be the world keeping us down and no uh uh no one's going to keep you down pentacles <laughs> we are going you are Taurus if you are a Taurus Virgo Capricorn it's obviously could be significant for you but you don't have to be because we have Taurus Libra Aquarius or here the devil's Capricorn so very interesting Scorpio but we have a whole bunch of different signs it doesn't really matter it's just it, it, it could be or could not be significant for you. But I like this. For me, this is super important to see this. These two here for you. So whatever it is that you're starting, I feel like some of you are even going to be starting a new course. Something to change your, um, your stuckness over here. Something to, like, to step away from this feeling of failure. Because failure is only going to lead you towards a path of transformation and a, like a new battle, <laughs> right? So I love it. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm trying to think of what else there is could be here for you because the Empress is other mother energy. Could be that you are um, coming head to head with a your mother or a female in your life when it comes to money. But know that there's like something happening here and I like it a lot. So I wanted to show you guys um, the bottom of the deck. I always like to look at the bottoms of the decks. You know that. Some of you might not know. But the Wheel of Fortune which I found very beautiful because the wheel of fortune is destiny. So karmic destiny. So a lot of you here are here. You're having to learn this lesson. You're having to, um, whatever happened with an ex uh, is because it was a lesson you had to learn. Whatever is happening with the relationship, it's again a lesson that you had to learn. A mother, you know, there's everything that we talked about here is a lesson that had to be learned and and going to be learned here. It's going to be um, the opportunity is going to show up here. Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter, and it's all about that expansiveness. So you're you're going to start something new, and it's going it's on your path, your karmic path. So it's really beautiful. <laughs> love it so much okay so i'm gonna do one last card pull for advice from the angels gods and goddesses for our pentacles people so what do they need to know angel of joyfulness something wondrous and magical is about to happen I like that a lot. All right. Eight pentacles, people. We know that. I, it definitely feels that way to me here. So, all right, guys. I hope you like this reading. This was fun. Um, I guess I might see you in the other readings. Or if not, then I will see you in another pick card. Hello, pile number two, for those of you who picked the 10 and the ace of swords. So the ace, the 10 of swords is an end to old ways of thinking. It's like uh, you're surrendering to uh, whatever the situation is. Um, it's like freedom from your past. It's freedom from the your old patterns, your old behaviors. It's like you're done, <laughs> okay? And then the ace of swords, is like mental clarity, like a um, new approach, like uh, ambition, could be um, justice being served. So we'll see what the cards have to say for you. So we're gonna start with the 10 of um, pentacles. So we have bring into form, which is interesting. Earth element stability. That's an interesting card to come with the swords energy. Put it here so you see everything. Judgment. And then we get the Knight of Swords. The star. Star came for. Um, uh, one as well. Just put, it, put it here and you know it's a 10. The Chawa. The Two of Swords. All right, so let's look at this. What is going on here? I want to show you all the cards. I don't want you to not see the cards. All right. So um, bring into form right away. This is an interesting card because it's like uh, being you're being asked to um, complete some creative endeavors. Like if you're a writer, if you're a painter, if you're uh, a musician, to, to take, an, take your idea and put it into action. And to like uh, release yourself from why you should do this and said and just do it kind of thing. 
So to believe in you. Wow, I think this is interesting because when I see the tower card, it's like believe in uh, yourself. Oh, you're not believing in yourself and you're feeling like this. You're feeling um, like the whole world is kind of against you in a, in a certain way. You feel like people around you are like, why are you like, why do you want to paint? Why do you want to write a book? It's not going to bring you any money. It's going to just like, it doesn't have to be like that. Why do you want to do tarot cards? Why do you want to do anything in your life that, that doesn't, is not like the norm of the, what society says is deems as right. It feels like that is something that you're dealing with. Some of you here, you're dealing with like other people like judging you. Oh, wow. Good. Good one. That was good. I didn't realize I forgot that. There are people like thinking that you you should be doing something that's real. That's what I'm feeling with this card, which is kind of interesting. So I'm gonna put her here. And then the like the earth element comes in. That's the idea of the earth element. Is like the earth element is like practical, right? It's like um stability this is not stable for some people it's um it's about your you're putting keeping your feet on the ground and this one is like no i'm not sure i want to keep all my feet on the ground so there's an interesting group here that is kind of struggling with their uh creative expression it's, it's they're struggling with their own um ideas of their life which could feel like the star card which is the Aquarius card you know the revolutionary card trying to like uh, seep outside of the norms not someone who likes to follow the rules wow it's all making sense for this group and then we'll go into other groups but the two of swords energy is that energy of like oh, I don't want to do like what everyone else is doing I want to do what I want to do <laughs> And it's fine, do that. Like it's time to think bigger. But I like the earth, I, I, I kind of like the earth element here for this reason as well, because the earth is about, um, the earth is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, and then it's all about um, finding meaning in this physical material world that we're in. It's like standing in your truth kind of thing, like stand, putting your feet in the ground and really believing in what you want. That very stubborn, right? These are the, the, the earth signs. They like don't sway easily. But the, the, the Knight of Swords is here. Swords energy, which is fluid, which is air. It's like, we, we, I, get, I get you that you want to stay on your, like find that solid foundation. I respect that. But you know, we, sometimes you gotta move and shake a little bit, right? Sometimes you gotta go with the flow. Sometimes we need to step outside of this, always like following the, the norms of society. Sometimes you gotta shake it up and cause this tower. Step away from all these restraints around us. And that's what I feel this Ten of Swords. Some of you are feeling like bogged down by what other people want you to do. You're feeling judged. You're feeling um, like, and it's 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 been a long time for you. It's not. This is not a new thing. This is something that you've like, you've put aside your creativity. You've put aside the things that you want to do. You don't have to. It doesn't have to be super creative either. Whatever it is that you want to do, but it's like not lucrative. It's not like rewarding financially, as everybody else would say. And so you find yourself as a lawyer, a notary. You find yourself as an accountant. You find yourself doing things that. Or you could even find yourself doing other like salesperson, whatever, but it's not really what you want to do. And this is a this is a specific group, and I'm feeling it very strongly here. And there's also a group that um, with the tower moment um, and the judgment card and the Knight of Swords, because the Knight of Swords energy is like um, he's the warrior energy, but if he's uh, crossed. He's not a pleasant fellow, right? So I feel like him being on top of the tower, there's like a, some of you here may be very heavily judgmental of others or of yourself. And you find yourself in this situation here. And you're not able to like 
uh, you're not you, you're very foggy you're not able to see clearly right which is swords energy you're just like stuck in a situation and you're unsure of how to take make a decision you're actually not seeing the star in the darkness you're just seeing the darkness right now there's like a saying you know by diminishing others you diminish yourself but by diminishing yourself you also diminish yourself so um it's not your fault what happened in this world it's not your fault um it's like i feel like some of you would stop stop being like a victim mode we this this society has like um per perpetuated this victim mentality on us so that we could just like pop pills and we could just forget about life and not figure it our ourselves out but it's almost telling me like this is like time to step out like lift those feet go with the flow do things that are um outside of your normal um maybe the tower moment is exactly what you needed here a lot of you needed to wake up needed to see things clearly this way to get like the ten of swords energy could be uh let's say you're in a relationship and there's um and you maybe you've been betrayed or you've been lied to or you've been cheated on or you've been um uh, you've been given a reason to not trust your partner or you're just being uh you're you're with a narcissist or you're with someone that's just keeps condescending you or not listening to you at all you know we can go on and on and on but i'm trying to pick 10 of them <laughs> so we can go on and there's this feeling here of you needed this time to wake up kind of thing from this moment but yet you're still having a hard time finding um the guts to make this decision and the earth is here to say okay just step back ground yourself find yourself go back to ask yourself why are you in this relationship why are you in this job why are you in this friendship why are you like it's like that's almost the earth's telling me here it's like ask yourself these questions go back to the basics go back to your foundation and like this this is like telling me to go and do what you want follow your heart follow your dreams it's okay that you are feeling like this but it's time to get up from this to pluck each um sword out of your back stand in your truth stand and do what you what you want to become this star what is it that you need to shine your light there's some people here that could be truthers I always feel like that when I see the swords card and that you or like people waking sorry waking up in this awakening journey and you're seeing the light you're seeing everything and there's still people around you like judging you and saying oh my god you're just another conspiracy theory oh my god you're just so weird oh my god you're like this this kind of feeling there's this very intense feeling of that and it's okay earth element go back get grounded put your feet on the ground even if you have to lift one up it's fine but keep one foot on the ground and dream the dream man and like um when you're making a choice do it for you not for everyone else around you Whew, that was powerful <laughs> okay <laughs> so let's see what's going on with the ace of swords we get the word wants to be written that's so funny that comes together with this creative one okay um see this yes second house owning which is interesting because it's a taurus uh energy it's the house of taurus which is earth here very, very interesting and discipline I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Definitely you can. All right, so this one we got for judgment. Oh my God, judgment. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, I'm like, a, it doesn't take me much to get excited. <laughs> Ooh, the devil. 
devil wants to play. Okay, let's let's play with the devil. And then lovers and the hangman. Okay, just not not for anything, but you didn't get one sword here. You only got major arcana. Definitely a lesson ha having to be learned here from you guys. Um Judgment is all about awakening. Wow. Just talking about that. The devil, again, is this energy. I'm sorry, again, because I just got in the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so, judgment is um, Pluto. So, it could be Scorpio. This is Capricorn. This is Gemini. The hangman is Neptune. So, it could be Pisces. Wow, there's a lot of signs here, right? So, what are we looking at here? Um... Right away, for me, when I see this, um, when I see this, and I see this, it's like, write that book. <laughs> Words want to be written. Paint that painting. Do that gardening. Plant those plants. Write that music. Write that script for your, blo your, blo your blog, your vlog. Like, it just, like, screams at me that, right? And the second house is, like, house of money. So whatever it is that you're wanting to do here, it's yours. It's money is coming to you. There's a financial abundance coming your way. Stay on the path. And I love that because we were talking about this awakening journey here and this judgment shows up and that's the rebirth, that's the awakening. So maybe it has to do with you're writing a book on this whole journey that you're on in this past two years or maybe something else. But it, it feels to me this card... Um, almost like don't get swayed by this energy don't get swayed by this energy which is to me the same energy as this tower card don't get swayed by um any oppressive energy people who don't want to see you um succeed even if it's not like according to their because it's not according to the way they see life this is some powerful <laughs> But like I like the hangman. It's like don't wait around for other people to do things for you. Do whatever you need to do. You want to go write that book and publish that book, then go please do that. But it's whatever it is that you want to do. Like it just happens that these things showed up here. So um, whatever you're planning on doing in your life, it's like don't wait around. Do what you need to do. Be this ace of swords, which is like super clear in his intentions or your intentions. But just very uh, focused. And that's what it's telling you here. But this is definitely a sign for some of you out there that is like um, wanting to uh, do something um, a bit outside of their normal. And it's like uh, let go of those in your way. Let go of the past. And then there's lovers, which is kind of interesting. So there could be, this could be a choice that you need to make it's not only about love it's a choice that you need to make to go towards this dream that you've been holding on that you've been like uh, weighed down with I really feel like that is there's some some of you here that are like uh, if you're on this awakening journey then it's time to like uh, connect with yourself love yourself try to stay away from those who are not aligned with your energies try to uh, turn off that TV, try to turn off anything that is trying to bring you down. Because here you are connecting to your higher self. Freeing your mind, freeing yourself from all this. And don't let anything get in your way. That's what I'm feeling here. And the second house is like, wow, stability is yours. Like, security is yours. Like, opportunities are coming your way. If this could also be, like, new love here with the lover's card. Could be someone you meet while you are uh, making your dream come true. Could be someone you meet while you're investing money in, a, like, a banking or financial situation with the second house. But I feel like more it's about you and your journey, like something work related, something creative related. 
it feels like you're um, stepping away from maybe a job that you, you can't stand maybe a job that keeping you down and never making it's just making you float from position to position but you're never able to get a promotion and it's like okay you know what I'm done I'm gonna like do what I really want to do and I think this is like very much this it feels almost like a wands energy to me but it is what it is and these are the cards that have come out it's like get clear right do what it is that you want to do I can accomplish what I set my mind to I like this so much like the devil and the hangman show up together which is kind of interesting because like the hangman is this feeling of like uh, you know hanging on a tree and looking at a, uh, a different perspective looking at something bigger making making sense of something else and maybe it's like this devil is making you do that the devil for me is like what is happening now in the world and if even if you're watching this in 2024 then you'll know that in 2020 and 2021 we went through crazy so <laughs> you know that you were living it so it just feels like whatever this is it's like the end because you're in the you're seeing you're seeing right through the devil you're seeing right through the corruption you're seeing th right through all of this um evil and you're it's time to rise and that's what you're doing and you're rising you're rising like this bird here and you're rising at like these birds both birds which is beautiful and maybe you're gonna have like you're gonna be lucky to have like your twin flame or uh, your partner that, or your friend or best friend with you like riding this wave because you know it's been very difficult for anyone on this journey we've been all like spread out all over the world so if you have someone close and ride that wave together I, I, I do feel like there's gonna be some sort of money opportunity so there could be like a business that's coming out of this whole situation or you're gonna maybe go into partnership with your partner there's like it feels good when it comes to that these opportunities are feel very um positive i feel like whatever creativity that you were stifled here is going to come to fruition over here i feel this your this group has been affected dearly by the tower and the devil moments you've been affected by this 2021 whether you lost a job whether you um lo uh, uh, broke up with a partnership broke up with a lot of family and friends and you were, you were having to feel this like helplessness kind of feeling and now you're here and it's like you're seeing differently you're seeing with the new eyes you're seeing um you have a vision you can see the future maybe some of you maybe some of you are clairvoyant maybe some of you are um in this healing kind of uh journey that we're on and we're you're 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 uh understanding more what is your mission what is your purpose and maybe it's like the second house feels to me like there's like a business going to be started a new job is going to start but it's with you opening your eyes to what is around you and i'm i feel like a lot of you are going to uh when you open a business when you start a new job when you start a new relationship it's going to be with different eyes you're going into it with the whole heart you're going into it with an unconditional love you're going into it with like um again i'm going to say it but all seeing eyes you're going into it freedom and sovereignty you're not going in with this kind of vict victim mentality wow this is a nice reading so like i did with everybody else i I, like I do with a lot of my readings I like to look at the bottom of the card and I wanted to show you what we saw at the bottom of this card which is justice so I like kind of <laughs> the nine of swords which is a, but the justice card interesting feels really good here because justice is going to be served for those of you who understand that or um you're finding balance in your relationships you're finding balance again in your life when it comes to work when it comes to relationship when it comes to whatever it is but your mind is clear again very nice very very nice so we get one last card from our angel gods and goddesses for the swords please the 
suit of swords. I apologize if you can hear like um, chainsaws or, but many of you know that I am living in a construction zone. <laughs> so that's what it is. The goddess of the sacred path. Let go of logic and trust your intuition. That's so funny. Logic. I kind of like this for the swords. Because we know swords all about being logical. And here it's like, let go of all these people telling you what to do, which is logic, right? It's, that's the left side of your brain. No, that's the right side of your brain. It's time to lose your left side of the brain and go be more intuitive and more into this higher self. Talk to your higher self, listen to your intuition. Wow, what a great reading, swords people. <laughs> I love it. So like I said with um, the pentacles, if you're a uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, it could be significant for you because that's the sword's energy and uh, doesn't have to be. But um, that's it. I love this. We've got some greatness coming for you. I like it. All right. So if um, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you again in the other suits or I'll see you in another pick a card. I love you and bye. Hello, pile number three and welcome to the 10 and the Ace of Wands. So the 10 of Wands to start is, if you can see, he's like holding on to 10 wands, but he's forging forward. So that's a really good sign and his wands are lifted in the air. It's not like they're stuck on the ground. So that's always something, but there is, He's holding on to some burdens. He's burdened by life. He's burdened by a certain, certain event in your life. He's, you're taking on too much. That's what it means. So we're going to look at that. And then we're going to look at the Ace of Wands after. So first we're going to look at this. Ten of Pentacles, which is this. Let us see what is going on. We got Radical Self-Love. We can only receive love to the... Okay, I need to put my glasses on. Okay. We can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love and live the truth of ourselves. Wow, that's intense. Okay. All right. See what is going on here we got the air element communicating then we get the fire intuition ignition ignition wow we got air and fire which are best friends so that's a good thing okay let's see what's going on here with the cards we get the four of wands the world, we like the world, the moon, and the devil. I got the devil has shown up in all the readings. Interesting. Okay. I hope you see this. Yes, I see it. All right. So, what are we looking at here? What is holding you back? I mean, we see right away. I mean the devil, but when I would like to talk about this radical self-love. So for me, I always talk about self-love, loving yourself. You are the most important person in your world. When someone can love themselves, they can love other people. But when someone can't love themselves, then it's very hard for them to love other people. So I really like this card coming here. So a lot of you maybe are in this moment where you are having a hard time loving who you are so it's like it's time to love yourself con unconditionally because that's what we were meant to do on this planet we were our light beings and we are unconditional love filled beings <laughs> it's time to let go of all this self-judgment with this moon card i feel like some of us some of you are um dealing with shadow 
work. Maybe you're going through some dark night of the soul, which is understandable. Um, this like when I feel like a lot of like you know when you just look when I look at this like if you think about back you go back into your life like we were all taught to be ashamed of our bodies, ashamed of our skin color, ashamed of everything about us. Oh, you have uh, this, or you, oh, you're not uh, as smart as me, or you don't have this degree, or, you know, it's just like, wow. Our material status, everything, we were always taught, it was a shame. And here, this like, the crone is showing up and saying, okay, it's time to love who you are, because this is what you chose to exp as this is human experience. And no one can else tell you otherwise. Nobody. It's time to celebrate your life. So I'm feeling a lot of you here, no matter what age you are, you are in a process of, not, like, when you look in the mirror, you're, you're like nitpicking. And maybe sometimes you look in the mirror and say, I love you, like I do. Try really hard to do that. It's so important to do that. And, so, and there's moments when you wake up and you're like, oh, God, I'm so ugly. I'm so this. I'm horrible. I'm like, look at the bags under my eyes. It's all this, like, everyone can relate to this, I'm sure. So, <laughs> like, that's what I'm feeling here. And then the air element shows up, which is communication, which is re relevant to uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but doesn't, doesn't, Ace of Wands is Leo, Saggi, Aries. But it's interesting, it's like um, communication. So there's obviously a communication problem. So maybe you're not communicating well to your body, right? Or maybe you're not, you're, there's a problem in a relationship where you are, um, you feel disempowered in your relationship and that's why you need self-love. Maybe you are um, in this, oh, so how many times do we do this to ourselves? We self-sabotage ourselves. We're like, oh no, he or she doesn't love me because of this or he, but without even asking the person, without communicating with the person, asking, just assuming. There's this that's here. Wow, there's a lot happening in this wands. <laughs> and, um, but communicate, uh, commu air element, it's all about um, time to speak your mind right time to put into words what you want to say it's time to take your path like flow into this path so like same with a relationship time to talk in it whether it's a friendship whether it's a family member whether it's a job and you need to speak to your boss you need to speak to a colleague who's not really understanding there's like a miscommunication here 100 100p like i feel like there's something um and then I see the world card and it feels that like the, the world is like putting a damper on your, all of your issues here, right? You know, people who, um, like self-love, how, how, how do you like, you, you can love yourself as much as you want, but you need love from others. And if you're socially distancing, if you're not able to hug other people, then that's a, an issue and it could be um, uh, lead to mental uh, or issues as well which is the air element so there's a very interesting group here and I think a lot of I don't think it's a group I think a lot of you can really relate to what I'm saying here um, but let's look at something else that's positive I, when I see air and I see the world what do we think we think air travel <laughs> So I feel like there's some that's coming um, to fruition for some of you, even though some of us can't travel. But there's if there's a will, there's a way. So it doesn't have to be only air. It could be driving, or it could just be boat. Could be anything you want. And then we see fire, which is wands energy to start with so it's creativity it's self-expression it's inspiration and the fire energy for me is telling us to um, no matter 
no matter if the world is bringing you down, no matter if they are, um, they're not giving you opportunities to um, move forward in anything, like to have a healthy relationship with the love, family, friends, anything, because this is here and holding us down. You might be feeling like, um, like you're drowning. You may feel like maybe there's someone hiding something from you. That's the moon, is like that. But I feel like fire comes in and is like, you know what? Jump in, do what you need to do. The fire is all about like blazing inspiration. It's about like light that fire under your butt and do what you need to do here. Uh, start that business, go into that relationship, do um, love yourself, travel, find a way to travel. I like that it's on top of this devil here. Let's put him, her on top of him. There's a very feeling here of like the moon. It's not only about like drowning, it's about listening to your intuition. It's a feminine principle. Tap into your divine feminine energy. Start, I like the four wands. It's like enjoy your life, revel in your life. Stop being um, weighed down by um, the constraints of the governments of the world. Do what you need to do in your life. That's what I'm feeling here. Don't, it's like, stop listening to what other people are saying. It's time to listen to our intuition more and more anyways and communication. I like that, the fire here element. It's like, um, you know what's best for you. No one else can tell you what is best for you. Don't get bogged down by um, this, which is what's leaving you here. I feel like some of you are like um, in travel mode and some of you are wanting to just like let it go and party, meet your soul tribe, then do that. So like there's this feeling there could be a wedding coming up and maybe you're getting married and you're feeling very like stressed about it because of what's happening in the world. Then it's like, F it. Just do what you want to do. <laughs> That's what I, this is what I'm feeling here. It's like you're, um, it's like the moon card is like, it's time to journey through your shadow selves. Yes, you might be going through a dark night of the soul. Go through it. Don't reject it. Uh, acknowledge it, let it release it, forgive it, and let it go. That's the moon telling me here. See through the illusions. See through the illusion of life, of this life. But face the illusion. Don't just put it away. We do that a lot as humans. We like see things we don't like and then we just like put it aside because you know I don't want to deal with it right now. But this earth, this new earth that we're going into is like, no, you can't just put this aside you gotta face it you gotta look at it in its eyes look at the devil in his eyes and say ah no oh nope the world is like the end of a journey beginning of a new journey right beginning which is are going to be our ace so i feel like some of you are coming to an end of a relationship coming to an end of a friendship a family ship coming to an end of a job like or or just coming to the end of self-hatred self-judgment or coming to the end of like uh, not believing in your um, your word like now it's like standing in your truth and speaking it instead of holding on to it and being afraid of it and cowering away and being like this and holding on and uh, uh, because you're afraid of what others think I just feel like this energy this fire coming out is like nope it's time to be you it's time to empower yourself. It's time for your enlightenment. Wow. <laughs> and then the Ace of Wands shows up and it's like, wow. Spirit self. Be who you are as you are. Yes, sir. I love it. Not the best thing to do, right, Sabrina? Okay. It's going to fall probably. Saturn return, age, interesting, interesting, groundedness, gravity, 
Wow, man. It's so interesting. Oh, um, we have like air and fire here, and then we have groundedness, which is like earth. And Saturn is the ruler of um, Capricorn, which is earth again. So, okay, interesting. Let's see what's going on. The Hermit. The Hierophant. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Hangman. Wow. Wow. These are like so beautiful. It feels to me like a very spiritual journey that's happening here. And for some of you, it feels very, very strong. And um, with the Hermit and the Hierophant, the spirit self, the spirit self is, um, before we start with that, let me talk about the Ace of Wands. Sorry, I get carried away. The Ace of Wands is like a burst of soul energy. It's a new beginning uh, spiritually, which is very interesting here. It's a new life, new passions, new um, creative um, endeavors, maybe a new awakening, which is again very interesting. So that's, wow. And we get the spirit self, which is like the higher self, which is um, the I am presence which is there's a significant change coming to you in your life by what, what, I, what I see here. And it's time to connect with your higher self, time for the great awakening, time to start a new relationship, time to uh, write that book, time to do what it is that's creatively speaking to you, time to love your life, time to love yourself. Like, I like it I like it a lot and then Saturn I want to it's like um, is the planet of truth I want to read a bit of, of it to you because I think it's interesting so in truth Saturn returns are all about correction Saturn corrects any area which isn't based on reality it might be romance business deals, educational paths, partnerships, or marriage. This card is pointing something out to you that may not have been genuine in the first place and that should probably be let go. Whatever is shaky in your life won't last and probably isn't meant to. Just say it as it is, Saturn return. <laughs> okay. Whatever you accomplish currently will have permanence to it. You will have worked hard and your hard work will pay off, gradually growing more successful over time. So I really love that and I wanted to read that to you because I feel like that is, feels good after this a bit. It's like you're coming into your own wands, people, and like the groundedness, gravity feels the same way. It's like you're being, like stay grounded in the knowing of what is coming to you. Find your breath, find your center. It feels glorious in a way like miraculous like I always feel like this this earth is to me and these you get these hierophant and hermit car to me is like they say the same things and they it's like lead by example lead lead you maybe some of you are being asked to lead others in this journey maybe you are um, very uh, woke or very um, connected to your higher self and they're asking that this is your destiny this is your sign this is your destiny you this is why you are here you're here to help people um on this path you're here to show them the way it's really scary if a lot of you have been on this path you know that it's really very scary it's not an easy path to be on because there's a lot of uh, destruction of old a lot of uh, collapse of the old energies, a lot of collapse of old uh, patterns, behaviors, old ways of thinking, old belief systems. And we're heading into radical self-love. We're heading, heading into love, unconditional love. We're heading into freedom. A lot of you are being asked to just like take a step back and like find yourself again. 
I feel like some of you are being asked like with this world card here to actually take some time away and maybe it requires you to travel maybe it requires you to go and rent a cottage and just find yourself again yourself again like who is who are you like you're on the right path your destiny is calling here so if um it almost like even if like let's say um some of you are starting a new relationship then i think it's asking you to go into your heart and know it like listen to your higher self i've, I've talked about this many times and pick a card readings but i can discuss it again if you haven't heard about it but when you talk to your higher self it's a very clear cut answer that comes out it's like should i be with this person yes that's it that's simple your ego will come in and say well does he have or does she have enough money or will does she have good intentions does he you know that's your ego talking to you and it's all these questions coming at you where your higher self is very clear because it's you it's your future self, your past self, it's you. and knows what your future is. <laughs> it knows what you need. So very important to connect your higher self. Even if you don't even understand what I'm saying, it's even something, a fun game to do for yourself. Should I cross the street? Yes, the higher self is going to say, it's going to say no. It's just very clear cut. And here we're being asked to, like the Saturn return feels like you're gonna come to an ending of something, but something great is coming for you. So whatever this is, it's all about connecting to yourself, connecting to Mother Earth, connecting to whatever it is uh, spiritually that I believe in, co connecting to a, your source, to God, the universe. Um, there's a very freeing feeling here in this, this one's energy. Some of you are, um, like, like I hear I said something about a wedding. I feel like it's just, it feels right. If you just go ahead with it. Like, it's a very um, empowering reading here. It's like, just do whatever it is that you were thinking of doing. Ask your higher self. They will say yes. Or go check out my yes and no. Pick a card reading. <laughs> they give you a yes or no answer. I use all my higher self in that. So you, when we tap into our higher selves, you're not gonna need me anymore, but for now you do. So thank you for being here. It's very, um, this is Virgo, this is Taurus. This could be Sagittarius, this could be Pisces, the Capricorn. Higher self could be high priestess, which could be the moon or Virgo, I believe. Capricorn, Pisces again, Capricorn. Wow, lots of Capricorn in this. <laughs> so, um, wow, what a beautiful reading. So I'm gonna show you the bottom of this deck, which I've done for everybody, and that's how I like to read. I always like to see what's underneath, what is like, um, what is waiting for us, what is like, uh, what are we trying to hide, what are we not trying, what are we not like seeing, but look at our bottom of our deck, people. It is the six of wands which is victory i <laughs> uh, see i didn't get a wands here but we got it at the bottom of the deck so victory like that's how i feel very much about everything here the fool take take a chance page of wands do it it's all very uh positive energy um like your angels, your guides are on your side. Whatever it is that you're asking to to happen, whether a relationship, whether it's a business, whether it's a friendship, whether it's go and meet your soul tribe, whether it is help people on your path, learning your life purpose, it's all here for you. The Saturn return says it could be a bit rocky, but it's okay because we're coming off of a Ten of Wands. We're coming off of a, a devil energy, right? The devil energy is not always comfortable. So it could be a bit rocky, and like I said, if some of you are on this journey of awakening, definitely not ro ro definitely not easy, right? There's always a bit of like, woo, tightness, squeezing. You're always like, what is going on? But <laughs> you're gonna find yourself. It's a beautiful reading. So I want to pick a final card from our angel gods and goddesses. 
what is the final message for my beautiful wands here? God of indulgence. It's all right. Stop beating yourself up. A little indulgence in, ba in balance is healthy. Okay. What does that mean? I'm going to go. When we see ourselves with this uh, self love card and that we berate ourselves and our bodies and this, maybe you're doing, you're uh, eating too much, you're drinking too much, you're smoking too much, you know you're smoking up too much or something like this is probably what you're doing to self-sabotage yourself and here it's saying it's okay stop beating yourself up this is happening here for you victory is yours uh, your awareness is coming your awakeness is coming like a lot of the people on this awakening journey are stop eating meat stop eating sugar stop eating like bread stop eating a lot of things and sometimes if you want to eat it then you know what just go for it right like no one can stop us <laughs> so you know yourself all right this was a gorgeous reading there's greatness coming for you guys um i love it it's beautiful don't berate yourselves love yourselves all right wands i'll see you guys maybe in the pentacles swords and cups or otherwise i'll see you another pick a card i love you hello my beautiful ten and ace of cups so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna see what's going on with the ten of cups what brought you to this place in time do we really need this here maybe here and we're going to look at the ace of cups after so first let's look at the ten of cups so we get the water element the water element is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which is you. It's all about emotions, about feelings. It's very interesting that it shows up in your reading because all the other ones have had other elements that showed up, but they're not re relevant to their uh, their suit. So there is a little sign here, I guess. So um, let's get into all the other cards and then we'll look at everything. We get movement, speed. Interesting. Let's put her here because we don't have a lot of space. We have burning hero, fire and water and air. Wow, fire and water, not the best combo, but fire and air is. So let's see what is going on. Let's see what's the six of hearts, which is the six of cups. The four of cups, depression. The universe, which is the world. And the ego, which is the tower card. Very interesting energies here. Because you know, as you know, the Ten of Cups is all about happiness and joy in your family and your life and your friends. It's like a romantic fulfillment. It's like amazing life. It's the happiest card in the, um, the tarot. So interesting that it comes here and we see this. Uh, sadness a little bit so let's look at the cards and the water element so um, with emotions intense emotions very interesting could mean that you're not very logical at this very moment in time maybe it's asking us to um, take a step back from life because of this ego here I feel like some of in so we have uh, ego and four of cups like some of you are, are maybe broke up in a relationship or just having a hard time because you're depressed or having a hard time with what's going on in this world. Hello. I mean, <laughs> well, that's pretty logical, Sabina. So, um, but then I see the six of cups come in. So it could be someone coming in from your past that's affecting this depression. Maybe you met someone and you had a relationship with them. Maybe you met someone on, on a trip on a travel and I don't know you're feeling a bit not you're not feeling so great at this moment in time and um, it's asking you to take a step back it's asking you to go within maybe and try to figure this out 
it's interesting that um, this speed card comes out because you feel like, okay, so what does that mean? This, this is telling me to go retreat inside, do some inner work. And this one is coming in saying, what? But I feel like it's also telling you to slow down, maybe. Just because everyone else is multitasking, just because everyone else is doing speedy shit in their life and they're working around, they're in speed mode, doesn't mean you have to follow the herd. I feel like it's like self-care time. Take the time for yourself to get to this happiness. Because some of you are struggling here. I feel like some of you, with the burning hero, I feel like some of you have got burnt in, your, in love or burnt in life. Some of you maybe because it feels really fast. Some of you maybe ran into a relationship really fast because you were really looking for love. You know, it's been hard this year and a half to be around people. You know, borders open, the less restriction. And you're like, you run into your relationship and maybe you ran too fast. That's what I'm feeling here. I feel like there's some, um, there's, a lot of emotions here, a lot of intensity, and the fire is very intense as well. And a, there's a hurt. There's disappointment here. And it could also have a lot to do with this collapse of this earth, this world, of everything around us. I do feel like someone came in from your past kind of is like ghosting you maybe um and you're like why i don't understand kind of thing that you there's a lot of hurt here um or you or a, a relationship that's not going anywhere either it could be at the cause of this like pandemic this what's going on in this world right now and you're like feeling really sad and tormented almost like this, she feels very um, at the end of her ropes, kind of. But the fight with the with the universe here, it feels like there's hope, like expansion. There's there's there is something here for you. Even the burning hero, it's all about inspiration, about passion. Maybe some of you are needing to. Uh, like that's at the, what we, was, we said there. It's like maybe you need to go into uh, rent a, co a cottage, go away for the weekend, spend a few, maybe 10 days or 10 months. That sounds greater. <laughs> away that, to collect yourself, to collect your emotions. There is a feeling of um, this tower has come for a reason. Like we say, there's always a reason why there's these endings and then there's new beginnings. It came here to show you that perhaps uh, your relationship with your lover or your um, friends or your family, maybe it's shedding a light on something. And instead of feeling so down and low about, instead of feeling like this is the end of the world, um, it's time to... Uh, bring out that passion in you and find, figure uh, remember the life purpose why you're here in this world you're here to be expansive you're here to be like um, the leader you're here to lead the way wow very intense I feel like there's a lot of some of you here that actually like really did meet someone in, in your travels and because of the world you're not able to see him maybe there was like or her that you started a relationship and because borders close all this it's like really difficult and maybe it uh you you couldn't go further in this relationship that could be one group here um there's someone here that is holding on to you from your past, someone is holding on to you and maybe it's, it's not allowing you to move forward in yours. There's a lot of scenarios here. But um, your goal is to, to get here and you're having a hard time getting there. You're not feeling it. I almost feel like this Ten of Cups is in reverse for many of you. It's like this, um, you're not able to see 
the happiness you're not able to you're not you're not fulfilled at this very moment in your in time and maybe it's even asking you to go on to like i said to travel to, to just to get away from a lot of people uh, maybe it's time to ign reignite a something else in your life like reignite a relationship maybe you're like feeling really bad in this relationship and you're like needing to look at it like with a different uh, with different eyes a different perspective and you're at, being asked to um, find a solution be creative about it or express yourself to your mate to tell them that you're feeling like this it doesn't always have to be love like i say it could be family or friends that there's just this feeling of uh, melancholy here very heavy and i can attest to it because i've been feeling like this too in these past few months it's been very hard to because we're not i'm not aligned with a lot of my family i'm not aligned with a lot of my friends and so you feel like you're like here but it's almost like we are we're not here to uh, we're he you're here you it's okay to feel these feelings but it's it, you need to release them as quickly as you can because we're here to like uh, rejoice in life and not follow the programming of this 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 world that is keeping us down wow intense so let's look at the ace of cups this this what's the new beginning waiting for us <laughs> let's see what's going on here we got the moon wow look at this water one of the planets of the water is the moon and it's one of yours too. So it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is very interesting. There's a lot of messages here. Angel of Jupiter, Awaken. Jupiter, very interesting energy. Jupiter is all about um, an energy of... Um, of expansiveness, which is interesting, expansion, expansiveness, opportunity, opening new borders. And then we get transformation pressure. Wow, okay. Let's see what's going on here and then we can discuss. Oh my God, the devil. Can I say? I think we got the devil in every single reading. <laughs> God, I don't know what's going on. The release that this is transformation, which is right here. Interesting. Bigger cards. Okay. Strength. And the two of cups. Wow, man. All right, people very interesting energy i mean right away the two of cups energy is soulmate twin flame energy you know what like i don't know i just got this message but i almost feel like you had to you had to go through this you had to go through this darkness through this pain you had to like end something here because your twin flame or your soulmate is waiting for you in this new beginning and I'm, I just want to point out that a twin flame or a soulmate doesn't have to be, again, love. Could be a friend. Could be a complete stranger coming in to help you through a really tough time because it's you. Wow, this is amazing reading. Okay, so Ace, let's start this. Again, I'm getting ahead of myself. The Ace of Cups is like divine love. It's like an overflowing abundance right with of love of money of whatever it's love and compassion it's fertility perhaps as well so let's start with the moon card the moon is the soul card in astrology it's considered the soul card the this card the soul planet it shows us who we are in our inner depth also the female principle the negativity principle also could be pregnancy like we said fertility so somewhat some of you might be getting prego congratulations if so but uh, moon is related to the feminine principle so that means it could be your a mother a grandmother or a female friend in your life is very significant right now 
The moon is like about uh, your intuition. Pay attention to some dreams, perhaps, that you're going to be having soon. Uh, dreams are very um, telling. A lot of us dream, go into our astral plane. We actually go and live our past and future lives in our dream state. Uh, I also do dream interpretation. You can always get that reading from me. Very interesting dreams, so pay attention. Uh, some of you may be feeling uh, with the moon. You could also be feeling a loss of focus. You'd be unclear. You could be feeling... Um, like unsure of why you're here in this earth you might be feeling some pressure i kind of like this together it's very good yes so interesting so uh, uh, the moon is also um related to the high priestess in the tarot so maybe start to pay attention to your intuition ace of cups is all about intuition as well so rely a lit, little bit more on your intuition. I love it. But the moon also could be, um, with I, when I see the devil here, it could be there's someone hiding something from you. I mean, it could be external influences. That is a big big maybe <laughs> and there's like um, there's change happening there's a death to the old a death to the old energies here happening and that's why your twin flame or your soulmate is waiting for you because it's needing for you to say goodbye to all this old energy this 3G energy wow that is something. And, if, and find that courage within your soul. Find that courage to say no to this. I like they showed up here. Say no to all those around you that are um, pushing back. All those around you that are only wanting um, the best for themselves. Or only seeing. They're not seeing with full eyes like you are seeing. Those that are hiding from you, those that are not um, wanting the, the best for you. You know who they are because you feel it in your soul. So pressure, I want to talk about this a little bit because I like that the fact that it has transformation here, which is the same card here, the, the death card. I feel like some of you with the devil as well here are feeling pressured to stay in a relationship maybe you're feeling pressured to stay in something that is even though it's hurting you here because it looks good because it looks good on the facade because it, on facebook and instagram everybody thinks you're a happy couple or happy family or you're the best friends forever but you're not feeling that and i feel like you're feeling this pressure from people that, you know, maybe they're not, I'm sure they're not doing it on purpose, but they just, uh, many people just think of themselves. <laughs> so they're like, oh, but you're hurting me. And how, what are people going to think if you break up with this person or for you, you know, or you step away if you stop talking to these people. This is, I'm feeling this very strongly here. Even though a relationship is not good for you, they're still like, mm, well, could also be like you're feeling pressure from the world and you're feeling you can't speak your truth you can't say what you feel anymore that you can't it seems like a lot of us can't say what we feel anymore because then we're deemed as like uh, not the, them not following the rules or conspiracy theories or whatever and you're feeling a little bit of that pressure and it's interesting transformation the pressure of change because you know what we are are all being squeezed through this tube we're all feeling that squeeze but the only way to go through the t the only way to go to the light is to go through the darkness 
And the angel of Jupiter is here and is saying it's time. We're giving you this opportunity to change your life. We're here for you. It's not going to feel pretty. It's not going to feel pretty. It's not going to be feel pretty. <laughs> it's not going to feel pretty. There's like a lot of obstacles to go through. A lot of people that are not aligned with you. A lot of pressures. A lot of like um, external influences that are not happy. A lot of like hidden truths. But... If shaking things up is is good for your betterment, then we're here to do that. The angel of Jupiter is here to do that. Wow, man. This is awesome. Oh, these readings have been so great. So, <laughs> like, I'm just seeing, like, there's a lot of change happening here for you. And you're having to own up to yourself, Ace of Cups. You're having to, like, say goodbye to these really... Um, draining and low energies that have been following you the fears you have to say goodbye to the fear and accept the changes coming to you accept that like be the lion be strong this is waiting for you you have new love coming in you could be an old love that's showing up. It could be an old someone coming in from your past as well that's coming in for you. That's like an, you're going to be like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in 30 years. But you'll know it. I'm telling you again, you're going to know it in your soul. Listen to your intuition. Listen to that love that's in your heart. Open your heart. Say goodbye to all this fear, this judgment, this resentment, this guilt. That's, we don't need you there anymore. We need you now to embrace the love that's coming in your way. And it is. And it's not going to be comfortable. It's going to feel tight. It's going to feel a bit strange. But it's coming. And I'm not saying this only because you could be in a loving relationship and you're watching this and you're like, no, this, this is, could be like a new friendship that's uh, blossoming. A new um, like a family member that's coming out of... Uh, silence and it's like I need your help in this awakening journey I need to like uncover I need to reveal I need to like um, open myself up to a new way of thinking there's a lot of energy here that is so full of like unconditional love so um, tap into that could also be uh, some of you are stepping into a healing like a journey, like a business, if you wish. So there's a big change, up, like a upheaval, like happening in your life. And it's bringing in, like, could be bringing in um, a new baby. Could be bringing in, um, like I said, new business partnership, new relationship, new something that's going to awaken your mission on this earth. Wow. So, and then, I, I, like everyone else, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck because I like to see what's in the underlying or what's holding you back. So we get the Seven of Cups, which is choices. So the choices, Temperance, and the Eight of Cups. The Seven of Cups is like, there's, there's this feeling here that you're having to make choices of like releasing choices to step away from the fear choices to change your old energies choose to choose love for yourself to listen to your intuition to to see the pressure acknowledge it release it forgive it and say like and release it like forgive and then release it so it's very interesting seven of cups energy showing up here so there are some like moments in this new ace of cups energy this new beginning where you're going to feel a bit tight and you're going to have like many choices to make but listen to your intuition go into your higher self and listen wow. these readings have been absolutely beautiful so i'm going to give you one last message from the angel gods and goddesses deck for this beautiful Ace of Cups, please. Wow. 
Look what shows up here. Like four things showed up. Let's see. Angel of healing. The angels have felt your sadness. Oh, and have shown up today to send you healing. I love it. This is so perfect for here. I'm going to show the four of them. You got a bonus here. Angel of guidance. A renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. Yes, because once we walk away and make these choices. Angel of communication. Communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. That's what I'm feeling over here. Stand up in your truth or do what you need to do to step away from this. Whatever's holding you down, Mr. Devil, we see you. Angel of union. A partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. Uh, don't you love it when it all works out? All right. This was amazing reading, you guys. Um, love yourself unconditionally love other people you'll know when it's right listen to your higher self i love you and i will see you in the other suits or i will see you in another pick a card